as the capital's arrivals hall fills with MPs. It's always good to be back in Canberra to fight the good fight. Some unfinished business from last week's Jobs and Skills Summit remains on the government's to-do list. Yes, there certainly will be more consultation. Multi-employer bargaining is where staff in the same industry, but working for different companies, band together to thrash out deals on pay and conditions. Something the union movement says helps their cause because they otherwise wouldn't have the negotiating heft of staff at larger companies. We will fight this every step of the way if required. The coalition seizing on concerns from some in the business community, it'll open the door to more frequent strike action. A total, complete and utter win for the union movement in Australia. The breathless hysteria about uh, massive disputation happening because we use a new vehicle to bargain is not borne out by the facts. At the moment, multi-employer bargaining is only available in limited circumstances. The legislation that we enacted when last the government did have a mechanism for low-paid bargaining across employers, but frankly it didn't work. And on whether the right to strike action will feature this time around... What you have to look at is every moving part of this potential policy. It's not the only fight the opposition's picking. Last week, the Employment Minister wrote to the Independent Umpire flagging the government would introduce legislation limiting the ability for employers to scrap workplace agreements. That should deeply concern all Australians. The timing of the letter angering the New South Wales government, which has threatened to tear up its deal with rail workers as widespread industrial action hits Sydney's train network. The letter has just been a foreshadowing of our intent. Industrial relations is always one of the the most politically fraught areas of debate in this building. And while the Prime Minister and his team will no doubt be hoping goodwill from last week's Jobs Summit lingers here in Canberra as Parliament returns this week, it will still be an uphill battle for the government to land any of its proposals. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Canberra.